and welcome back to the channel. We got some new games for April on the Nintendo Switch. And in this episode, we're actually going to be covering some PC stuff because admittingly, April isn't a huge month for the Switch. I feel like I needed to, I needed some help from Steam, okay? Now that's a good thing. We're all waiting for May and that's when Tears of the Kingdom comes out. But there are still some games and updates worth checking out. So I got a bunch for you today. I will be going in order so you know what days to look forward to, what days games are coming out. In the comment section below, let me know which of these games you are looking forward to the most. Pat, roll the part where you show the games. Come on! Starting off the list, we have a giant update to a game that has been out already, and that is the giant spring update that has hit Dinkum. Now, if you haven't played Dinkum before, it's basically a giant sandbox life farm sim that takes place in an Australian setting. I feel like I'm underselling it because this was my favorite, one of my favorite games of last year. But the giant spring update is available now. It actually came out in March and it adds so much more to an already amazing game. So it adds in new tools, new mechanics, new quests. It adds in waterscaping, new characters, new mine levels. They really went all out and I gotta, I gotta appreciate the, the Dinkum dev for adding in a ton of stuff here. Now this game does have plans to eventually come to consoles and I feel like a lot of people want that to happen. But from what I've heard, they want Dinkum to be a full final product before it hits consoles, which makes a lot of sense. It is in early access right now, but it does feel complete to me. I know that they're adding in holiday updates and things like that. But the spring update, I definitely recommend checking out. I have yet to really dive into it, but I know it came out recently and it adds in a whole bunch of stuff, but that's available right now. Next up on the list, I gotta say is one of my favorite games, and this is coming to Nintendo Switch on the 6th, and this game is called Paparazzi. Now I have already beat and complete this game over on Xbox Game Pass, but I will say with confidence, this is one of my favorite games on the list, I gotta say. Now the premise of this game, all you do is you take pictures of dogs. But like the first game I talked about, I'm underselling it again because this has so much polish and charm to it. And it is actually quite challenging too because you will get a lot of quests that say, take a picture of a dog on a skateboard or take a picture of a dog on a roof or something like that. And it's, it's up to you to kind of traverse these worlds and find these situations and get the perfect picture to complete the quest. Uh, I remember this game taking probably about five to six hours. I could be wrong on that, but I feel like it was on the shorter side. But during those five to six hours, I could not help myself from smiling like a big old doofus because this game just makes me happy. These are pretty small, confined worlds, so I don't think performance is gonna be an issue here. Paparazzi comes out on the 6th, and I definitely recommend this. Next up is another game that is hitting early access, PC only for now, and that is Song of the Prairie, which comes out on April 7th. And I wanted to include this game for many reasons. I feel like the aesthetic of this game hits a lot of what my audience likes. It looks like your typical run-of-the-mill farming game. It is going for some features that I think are pretty unique to this game. It does come out on April 7th, like I said before, and I'm not going to jump on this yet. I, I know a lot of people like to play these early access games as soon as they come out so they can kind of grow with a community and, and sort of create a community within the game. But Song of the Prairie seems to be pretty far off from a console release. I'm interested. I wanted to include it on the list because I'm very interested. Let me know what you think of the footage that's on the screen right now. But I definitely wanted to mention this coming out very soon. Next up, April 12th on the Nintendo Switch is a game called Wild Frost. And I recently played this game at PAX East in Boston. And I gotta say, the demo won me over. I'm not usually one to play these card battler games, but Wild Frost, I feel like has so much polish to it. It's, it's made so well that I think anyone that's not usually a fan of this genre is going to enjoy this game. Actually, at the time of this recording today, they announced a Nintendo Switch demo, which you can play on the eShop. And from what I'm told, the demo takes about two hours. So if you're not sure about this game, because it does launch for $19.99, if you're not sure of this game, 
play the demo, play two hours of it and see if you like it, play an hour of it if you, you know, if you like it or not. But yeah, the demo at PAX won me over. Basically, it's a card battling game. You can upgrade your cards. You can you can go to the shops and buy different upgrades and different cards to add to your deck. Again, I like the theming. You know, you go through these storylines and, and face the final boss at the end. It's your kind of typical run-of-the-mill story, but the mechanics of this game is just super polished. Another game by Chucklefish. So check this out, coming out on April 12th. The very next day, we have a huge update to another favorite of mine. And this is actually one of my most anticipated updates of the year. And that is the House Flipper Farm DLC, which again releases on the 13th. House Flipper is available on the Switch, but I'm not 100% sure if the DLC packs are. I don't think they are, but definitely, you know, keep track of the eShop and see if they add those. But yeah, this is the Farm DLC. House Flipper is an amazing game if you haven't played it yet. As in the name, you take these rundown beat up houses and you flip them for cash. It's a pretty easy sort of, you know, gameplay loop, but you do everything from mowing the grass to repainting walls, to breaking down walls and rebuilding these houses. And they have come out with DLC packs before. They came out with a pets DLC pack. They came out with a landscaping DLC. This one I think is the most interesting. You can grow crops, you can ride horses, take care of livestock. I really love what House Flipper is becoming. It's kind of, you know, becoming like The Sims, but I feel like it's much more interesting gameplay than The Sims. Let me know if you're gonna check this out because I'm I'm day one, April 13th, immediate download. House, I think they're calling it Farm Flipper is coming out soon. Don't miss this one. A few days after that is the release of Minecraft Legends coming out on the 18th. And if you know me at all, you know that I'm not a super fan of Minecraft. However, I do like the Minecraft spin-off games. I had a lot of fun with Minecraft Dungeons and I plan to play Minecraft Legends. Now it is a harder sell if you are an Xbox owner because I believe it is going straight to Game Pass day one. But if you only own a Nintendo Switch, these games tend to run well on the Switch. I have no worries of this game performing well on the Switch. Basically, this is a battler where you, you, you know, assemble an army and you go on these grand battles with all these other blocky Minecraft boys. I don't know what they're called because I'm not a huge Minecraft fan, but I know the gameplay is here. So Minecraft Legends, April 18th. I feel like this is one that definitely should be on your radar. And a few days later, we have the release of Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. Now this was a game that was supposed to come out last year, but because of certain world events, Nintendo actually delayed it. And it is finally coming out on the 21st. And I am super excited for this. Now this isn't usually a genre that I play, these sort of tactical war battler games. But Advance Wars 1 and 2 is, is, a, is a series and franchise that I grew up on, on the Game Boy Advance. So if you are sort of an old school Nintendo gamer, I feel like this one you're definitely going to pick up. Uh, I believe it's $40. I don't think it's a full price game, although I could be wrong. It is Nintendo. But Advance Wars 1 and 2, it is basically a full remake of Advance Wars 1 and 2 new graphics, new storylines, new characters, and this is the best way to play Advance Wars, and it is only available on the Nintendo Switch. Next up is a game that is coming to PC now, but does have very firm plans to release on the Switch once the initial sort of kinks are worked out, and that is Roots of Pacha, which comes out on, the, on April 25th. This is a super unique farming life sim game because it happens to take place in the Stone Age. And I love farming games that take chances like this. I think in my last video, I mentioned Mars Base, which is a sort of space farm sim. This takes place in the Stone Age. So it's interesting because you'll be taking care of livestock of animals that may be extinct now. So I don't know, just like there's co-op elements to it too, but I really like the fact that you might see creatures, flowers, crops that don't exist anymore because they're so prehistoric. Love the visuals on this one, kind of gives me Stardew vibes in the sense that it has some pixel art. Really nice looking game. I'm excited for the Switch release. I think I'm actually gonna wait for the Switch release, but if you can't wait, it's coming out at the end of the month. And last but not least, I think this is probably the cutest game on the list. I mean, Paparazzi is very close. Mail Time, which releases on April 27th with plans again to release on Switch. 
It's very frustrating. I know the Switch doesn't really get day one releases all too often, but mail time needs to be on your radar. This is a cute sort of cottagecore open world game where you play as this little mushroom character, which you can customize to your liking, whatever gender you are, hair color, eyes, you know, you know it by now. But you can customize your character and basically all you do is deliver mail in this cute sort of fictional world. Now I know that doesn't sound exciting, but the characters are colorful and have their own sort of personalities. And I feel like just aesthetically, this is gonna be a big hit. Um, again, releases on the 27th with plans for a Switch release. Like most of these games, you know, they, they kinda wanna work out the initial sort of bugs and stuff like that and then bring it to Switch. I feel like it, it only helps the Switch performance. So even if you're kinda bummed that it's not gonna release right away, just know that it's for the better. So there you go. Let me know which of these April games and updates pique your interest. Um, I'm personally looking forward to Farm Flipper coming out in the middle of the month and a couple PC demos to check out while we wait for Breath of the Wild because God, that is, I'm gonna make a game, I'm gonna make a video next month, May games you should be playing and it's just gonna be Breath of the Wild, okay? There's probably some other stuff. I'll see you in the next video.